back with another camera comparison now so i've got the honor magic 5 pro against the xiaomi 13 pro and then we have the oppo find x6 pro now the find x6 pro with the front facing camera it's 1080p the xiaomi's 1080p and then with the honor magic 5 pro that front facing camera can shoot 4k which is the setting i'm using now I'm swapping over the audio sources. We've got autofocus too with the Oppo and sometimes I do find it is out. Now you can see that it's difficult conditions at the moment. The sun's starting to set and they're not really rendering this very well, are they? It's blowing out the background completely. But as I turn around and now face the sun, there we go. That is a lot better. So you need to see where your light is, of course. It's a big ask for those small little front facing sensors. So just a small jog, a little light jog ahead, testing out stabilization. Which one do you think has the best audio quality and stabilization with these front facing cameras? 4K 30 frames per second with our rear cameras. So we've got two of the phones here, the Oppo and the Xiaomi with one inch sensors. But all three are using 50 megapixel sensors here for their main cameras, 50 for their ultra wides and their zoom cameras too as well. So as I pan around we should hopefully not see any of that terrible micro jada coming into play here when you see it dropping frames and we do have a limitation with the video with the magic 5 pro unfortunately it's 15 minutes that's the maximum you can shoot with 4k and the xiaomi is the only one here that can shoot 8k video at 24 frames per second the two other phones cannot so i am just going to jog a little and just test out that stabilization, which of course is optical and electronic across all three of these phones. Ultra wide cameras now. So with the Honor Magic 5 Pro, we cannot shoot ultra wide 4K 60 frames per second, only ultra wide 4K 30 frames per second. So I'm just gonna jog ahead again, testing the stabilization, which, which of course here is electronic with all three of them. 4K 60 frames per second with our main cameras now. So it should be a lot smoother. And how am I moving so quickly? Well, that's because I'm riding an e-bike here that I need to put a few Ks on, testing out its range and the battery life I can get out of it. But this is a lot smoother, of course, than 4K 30. And I'll be checking the files to see if there are any dropped frames. I don't think there should be. And remember that the Honor does have that 15 minute limit with its 4K video footage. The other two don't. Low light video now. So yes, I am lit up by the screens because what they do is they go into like a flash mode. So there's just me in the middle and then the rest of the screen is all white to illuminate and light up my face here. So that's why it's looking a little bit better than what it would normally be. Um, so if you are going to be shooting with video with the front facing cameras, you definitely want to keep this flash mode on for video because it will give you a lot more light. It's very bright actually from these screens, which themselves are quite bright, powerful screens, all over 1500 nits. 4K 30 low light now. So these lights here, these little LEDs should look yellow. That is the color of them. Now it's very difficult for these cameras, of course, now with these kind of lighting conditions and you can see that terrible lens flare. So just moving that about, it's reflecting everywhere. And you do get that with most phones, unless they do have that special like T-Star coating from Zeiss or some other anti-reflective coating on them that really does help out. Now pointing over into this direction, it is very dark here, but you can see the auto exposure is gonna change and capture that now. This big tree here in the background and then the pine tree here sorry palm tree and some stars in the background but a lot of noise it looks like the Xiaomi is not even able to barely capture this palm tree and the stars above and the focus just went out on the magic 5 pro over to our stills now. First up is the ultra wide. Now, at first glance, I like the Magic 5 Pro's look to it, the kind of vibe it has. But when you zoom in, you notice that, oh, hang on, it's over sharpened a little bit. So now it's between the X6 Pro and the Xiaomi. And I think because of the colors, the X6 Pro, but only just, I mean, this is so close here. Optical zoom cameras. I do like the look of the Honor. It's got a nice contrast to it. When you zoom in, it does look to be slightly sharper, but yes, maybe lacking a few details in the shadows compared to the Xiaomi and the X6 Pro 
they probably have and they do have better HDR, but I still like, personal preference, the Magic 5 Pro's colors and the sharpness here. I then took the zoom up to 10 times, so that's a combination of both optical and digital, and it was really starting to get windy by then when I was doing this. So none of these photos are ideal, but when I do crop into 200%, now you can see just, and only just, the Xiaomi 13 Pro pulls ahead with a slightly sharper photo, but to be honest, all three of them aren't really that good. This shot now of the hanging flowers. All three do look very good, and I like all three of them, and it's down to personal preference here, but I think the Magic 5 Pro just has a little bit too much in terms of contrast and saturation, but it's still a really good shot. Then between the Oppo and the Xiaomi here, again, you really start to have to nitpick. I think it's the Fine X6 Pro that just pulls ahead with this shot. I do prefer its bokeh. The background blur just looks slightly better with the Oppo. Now, they're all about equal in this shot. It's very, very difficult, and I have studied this one for about 10 minutes, and I did finally come to the conclusion that it is the Oppo. The X6 Pro, the Find X6 Pro just pulls ahead with the sharpness, with the details around. If you have a look at the masks and the rigging and everything in the distance, the different shade of the sky, the detail overall, just slightly better than the other two, but all three really did well with this very difficult HDR shot. Front facing portrait shot. So straight away, the Xiaomi blows out the background. It lost this. It's between now the Find X6 Pro. Now, I like the Magic 5 Pro's colors. I like the way it captured my jacket blacks the best. However, look at the stitching on the upper left-hand side of my head. I've got my sunglasses, and the only one that did this correctly out of those two is the Find X6 Pro. So that gets the win here with the front-facing selfie. As for our portrait photos, all three of them I did disable all the beautifying features. And you can see with the Honor Magic 5 Pro, there's a little bit of background blur, but it's over-processed, over-sharpened. I don't like the shot. The Fine X6 Pro, I'm sure a lot of people are going to really like this shot, but it has a bit of beautifying still being applied, even though I disabled it. Like someone has just gone over the skin tones, the skin and airbrushed a little bit my daughter's face, removed some of the freckles, as you can see, the Xiaomi is more natural here. It has the best stitching, so it gets the win. The Xiaomi 13 Pro for portrait shots, if you're after something that's true to life and more natural. Then this shot of my lovely cat, Vera. I focused on her nose, as I always do when I take these pictures of her, and you'll see that the colors, we get some of the dirt in her white fur of her paws with the Magic 5 Pro, so the white balance is the best there, However, I find the Magic 5 Pro just to be a little bit overdone, overprocessed, her black fur especially. So it's between the Xiaomi then the Oppo. And I like the sharpness, the focus being just spot on with the Xiaomi 13 Pro of her nose. And yes, she was moving around a little bit. The Find X6 Pro is still very good there, a close second. Then finally onto low light. This is where the Find X6 Pro just starts to pull ahead compared to the competition. I think it's probably one of the best with low light so far that I've seen. Have a look at the way it handles those artificial lights compared to the other two. It's rendered this shot the best, the details in the sky, pretty much everything. It is the superior shot of the three. Picking the winner with this photo is not as easy as you think because they're all kind of trading blows here. The Magic 5 Pro is very bright, but it's got a lot of that lens flare, the reflection of the LED lights. It has the best white balance, however. Then the Fine X6 Pro, least amount of the lens flare going on. It captures the LED lights the best overall. And then the Xiaomi gets a lot of detail when you look at the background. But factoring in the lens flare and just the overall shot, capturing how it really was, I'm going to have to give it here to the Find X6 Pro. A very close second is the Xiaomi. So this photo, it is close, but the white balance is slightly off on the Honor and the Oppo. It's the Xiaomi that has the better white balance here. And when you do crop in, it's capturing more details. For example, with the lights, the windows there of that house in the distance. So it's the Xiaomi that gets the win for this photo too.
Finally, a low light selfie. I turned off their flash mode, so they're not using the screens as flash here, and it is the Find X6 Pro that's the best. Recapping my findings here, so when it comes to vlog footage, that's your video front facing camera, I didn't like the Find X6 Pro at all. It seemed to be out of focus, or it's the focal length is just not suited to arm's length vlogging like that. Now, audio quality with video, I would say if there was no wind or you don't move, the Xiaomi's the best. However, any movement, any kind of light breeze or wind, the Xiaomi is terrible. Its microphones pick up every single bit of wind noise, whereas the other two have wind filtering. So I preferred the Oppo. The Find X6 Pro, I think, had the best audio with the wind. Its wind filtering didn't distort your voice as much as the Magic 5 Pro. Now, in the video, I saw that the Magic 5 Pro often had the best white balance, and the stabilization, I think, came out better just on the Oppo X6 Pro when it came to the video quality overall. Uh, there's still photos. Now, they do trade blows. Very good across all three. Uh, the Oppo pulled out ahead, I think, only just at times with a more natural-looking background bokeh. Uh, but portrait photos, I think that was the Xiaomi. They just looked a little bit better, better stitching there too. And your selfies... Well, I like the colors of the Magic 5 Pro, but it didn't get the stitching right if you happen to be wearing sunglasses. I know that's not fair, but normally I think probably the Magic 5 Pro would actually have the best selfies with its front-facing 12-megapixel camera. And then the night shots. Well, it was down to the Oppo or the Xiaomi, and they really did trade blows very close. If I kept taking more and more low-light photos, I think we would see that the Oppo would pull ahead, but only just.